Hey love, welcome to Lifestyle But Not. My name is Nayalu and today I'm going to show you a Greek Orthodox baptism. Vaso? Yes, please. Where are we going? We are going to Greece. Oh, okay. Let's go. So there's a cute bar opposite the church and we are going to have two espressos just to take the edge off or put some edge on. I don't know. What I don't know. First things first, the babies are presented to the church and the godparents have to read a prayer to declare their allegiance to the church and Jesus Christ. Then the parents will undress the babies to get them ready for the immersion. The godparents will bring a bottle of olive oil that will be blessed by the priest and then used to baptize the child. The blessed oil will be poured ceremoniously in the baptistry. The priest will then take some olive oil on his finger and anoint the baby's body and the rest of the olive oil is used to cover the baby from head to toe by the godparents. <laughs> In Greco-Roman times, wrestlers would be covered in oil so that they could be slippery to the hands of their foe. And the church is making the same statement, be slippery from the clutches of Satan. Subsequently, the baby is submerged in the baptismal water three times in a symbolic reenactment of Christ's baptism, death and resurrection, as well as the three days he spent in the tomb. After the dunking, the baby is placed on the godparent's hands. Um, the godparent is covered in a white sheet that symbolizes the pureness of the baby's soul. Then the baby is put in their baptismal outfit by the godparents or the grandparents and while the child is being changed, the baptismal candles are lit. Then the godparents, the baptized child and the chosen children walk around the baptistry for three times. Some scriptures are read and boom, that was it. 40 minutes have passed. <laughs> Love, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the little dunking in the Greek Orthodox tradition. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you want. Until next time, bye bye. <laughs>